anyone who's confused about the difference between Creole and Cajun, listen up. The Creole gumbo is seafood gumbo. Cajun gumbo is the chicken on dewy gumbo, often called filet gumbo. So seafood gumbo equals Creole, which means it's roux time. It's gumbo time. Very excited about this dish. Lots of flavor, and to me, it's all about the roux. Here we are. We got Stephanie, Miriam, and it's time to make some seafood gumbo. Everything we cook in New Orleans starts off. First, you make a roux, then you add your seasonings. The roux is nothing more than a combination of oil and flour. To make the roux, equal parts unsalted butter to flour, so eight tablespoons of butter or a stick, and then eight tablespoons of flour. A roux adds color, thickening, and most of all, flavor. A flavor that you just can't get any other way. If the telephone rings, let the machine answer it. If the doorbell rings, they're going to have to leave you a note because if the roux burns, and it will in a second, you're gonna have to throw it out and start all over again. Ready? Yeah. We're gonna add the hot stock to the roux. And then what's gonna happen is the roux is actually gonna flavor and thicken the shrimp stock, and that's gonna make our, our sort of gravy. And we're gonna add the onions. This is part of the big secret. By adding the onions first and by themselves, those natural sugars exude into that dark roux, and the roux gets darker. It goes from milk chocolate brown to, look, bittersweet chocolate brown. Is that the coolest thing? And then you add your celery and the bell pepper. All right, let's get to the andouille sausage, which is like a, a Cajun-style pork sausage. Rather spicy. We're gonna render out some of the fat of the andouille, and we'll actually use the fat of the andouille to cook some of the vegetables. We're gonna add some crushed tomatoes. Not too much, just enough. And how are we gonna be able to tell we've got just enough? By the color. We've got this sort of foxy, russet, reddish brown. That's the color that you're looking for in a Creole sauce. We sweat some onion, carrot, celery, red pepper, and garlic in the andouille oil. We have some head-on shrimp, some clams, and uh, sea scallops. You don't see a lot of sea scallops in seafood gumbo, but right. I love I love the richness of sea scallops for this. I'm opposed to the scallops also. I remember what remember we did jambalaya and they laughed at us freezing their mouth. Who cares? <laughs> Next we're going to add our gumbo crabs. A gumbo crab has to be a certain small size in order to fit into the gumbo bowl, or else the crab's gonna look like it's a horror movie trying to climb out of the bowl. Okay, now what I wanna do is I would like to start frying the... Uh, okra. The okra. So basically, I just wanna cut it to small, small rounds like this. We coat our okra in cornmeal and fry it in hot oil. The name of the dish, gumbo, is said to come from the African word for okra, which they called kingumbo, K-I-N-G-O-M-B-O. We're gonna saute the sliced okra. Look at it dancing, and I'm not even moving the pan. If you ever find a recipe that tells you to add raw okra right into your gumbo, I'd throw the whole cookbook away because that is guaranteed to be the way to get slimy sliminess into your gumbo. So we're gonna marry everything together now. We add the shrimp, scallops, crab meat, and oysters to our gumbo. And then like gently kind of fold in the seafood and let it actually poach in our roux. It's time to add shrimp stock, a couple of bay leaves, dried thyme, and some garlic. We have some fresh cilantro and parsley. And we also have green onion. In a perfect world, turn the pot down and let it simmer for an hour or two. About five minutes before it's time to serve, we're going to add our shrimp. Usually a gumbo is served with rice, but we're just gonna serve a little blue cornbread on the side. Really good flavor, the right amount of heat, and lots of shellfish flavor, which I, I just love. No, the broth is lovely. It is delicious. It actually is really nicely balanced. There it is, the perfect bowl of seafood gumbo, cooked the very best way, New Orleans style. All right, Poppy, get a load of this gumbo. 